There's an abundance of sights and experiences to uncover in Michigan, and maybe you're looking to venture off the usual paths to explore the eccentric and lesser known. That's right. Well, if that's the case, there's a book that can serve as a comprehensive roadmap of sorts. Now, joining us today is Amy Piper, the author behind Secret Michigan, a guide to the weird, wonderful, and obscure. Thank you so much for joining us, Amy. Thank you for having me. This is great. So now you Im have embarked on your own adventures around the world. What motivated you to write a guide to what you call Michigan's weird, wonderful, and obscure? And how did you you know, curate this eclectic list? Well, um, the book is by Reedy Press, and they have a whole series of these. We have Secret Detroit, and um, I wanted to, I've lived here my whole life, discover some unknown things that maybe others don't know about. So I Googled, I asked CVBs, I asked on Facebook groups, tell me your secrets. I went on tours and all of those kind of things. Okay. You say that you're looking to, quote, reveal secrets some Michiganders don't want to know. Mm. Uh, what are some of those secrets and why don't some people want to know? Them? Well, <laughs> well, because specifically, um, for example, the Great Lakes piping plover is an endangered species, so it's obscure. And it's on Sleeping Bear Dunes, but the tour guide said, please don't tell them exactly where to go because oh. if we have too many people coming here, they'll trample the nests, although the nests are enclosed. So it's to kind of protect those. The Kirkland warbler and the piping plover are both endangered species we have here. All right, so let's talk about some more obscure and some of the weird. Give us a couple of examples. Um, well, um, the um, in Alpena, the shipwreck tours, they have glass bottom boats that you can see the uh, shipwrecks below the water. Um, and as far as um, weird, right in Mount Clemens, not far from here, you have the Anatomy of Death Museum. And in Lansing, we have um, the other side, the Paranormal and Mortuary Science Museum. And then Joe's Gizzard City in Potterville, a whole okay. restaurant. A gizzards? gizzards. <laughs> yeah, okay. pretty weird. That is weird. That is definitely weird. Now, um, you've brought in some items that represent what's in the book. Talk us through these. Well, these are items from Bryce family estate um, and, and winery, and um, they have a secret garden there with lavender, and um, Walt and Eileen decided that to get away from it all, um, they had their winery there, they would go ahead and um, create this garden that they could kind of get away. Well, now it's open to the public. They have uh, lotions and scents with their wine, lavender with uh, body lotions and essence, and then they still have their wine. This is their uh, signature rosé reserve, mm -hmm. which is great with grilled uh, meats and, and summer fruits. It has flavors of raspberry and strawberry. All right, well, it's about that time. Yes, it yeah. is. All right. Well, Amy, this is awesome. Always good yeah. to have Michigan here. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah. How can people get a copy of the book? Um, you can go to your local bookstore, Amazon, ReedyPress.com. All right, well, we're kind of weird, obscure, and wonderful here on Live in the D, so we get it. We get. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Uh,